move back over to Lee Harris over at Limestone Title. Sullivan sent us an email with a serious problem, Lee. The house that Sullivan's selling is set to uh, close in nine days. The title company just called, and there are judgment liens on our house. Sullivan says we did not know anything about this, and Sullivan is wondering how can we get out of the contract to sell if we had no idea about these judgment liens and they will be left with having no money at all after they sell their house. Thoughts? Uh, yes, I have some thoughts. Um, it's going to be difficult if the if the amount of the judgment liens and the amount of any other payoffs, such as the mortgage and whatever else is owed on the property, if there's still going to be some profit uh, to the seller and they're not going to be underwater, quote so to speak, it's going to be difficult to just tell the buyer, "Well, sorry, we you know we're not going to sell because we're not going to make as much money as we thought." However, if there's a title issue because there's not enough money and and the sellers wouldn't be able to come up with the money to make the title clear, in other words, to clear out all of the uh, liens that are due, uh, there is generally a provision in in real estate contracts that say if the seller cannot clear the title, then they have a certain number of days to do so. If they don't, then you may owe the buyer some fees. For example, under the Louisville contract, it says that the seller who cannot clear up the title within 14 days has to pay the buyer's costs like home inspection, appraisal, that kind of thing. So you may be out money on that end. The only way to really get out of the contract, unless you're totally underwater is to ask for a release from the buyer, but explain your situation and see if they're willing to uh, to release you. Um, and then, of course, to try to contact those lien holders and see if you can get those liens cleared up. Sometimes they will work with you um, to maybe knock off some fees or maybe knock off some some uh, interest if, if it's going to come down to that. And you pointed out one thing. I want to make sure we heard that correctly. So if the total of the liens will exceed what the the seller is going to net from the sale of the home. Could that negate the sale itself since they're going to be upside down and don't have money to bring to close? Yeah, if they wouldn't be able to clear title because anything that can't be paid off is going to be left on, you know, it won't be, that lien won't be cleared. And so the title wouldn't be clear. So uh, a lot of times what happens in those situations is the negotiation takes place now where let's say the lien says it's, uh, the, the payoff is $10,000. Well, the, 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 the debtor and the creditor get together and they say, okay, well, I'm selling my house and I could pay five or I could pay eight. And they negotiated an amount mm-hmm. that is doable so that the, the sale can go forward. Um, and also those liens do expire. So, you know, it is possible that maybe they're, they're old and, and if they either wait it out a little bit or uh, maybe they're already expired, that's something to look into as well. 